Everybody's doing something. We'll do nothing. I think I might be able to help with a Pan Pam dilemma. We've come a long way since Frank the Tank, and we don't want him coming back now, do we? The local big time show. Super duper. That's nice. Oh, that's a sick jersey. Oh, uh, comes with the, it's the, uh, who's the fucking guy? I can't think of right now. Rock him, sock him. Don. Oh, that's a big time Don <laughs> Cherry. Yeah, it's supposed to be Don Cherry's, uh, suit. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, he got uh, canceled. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he Good got old canceled. Don Cherry got the boot. EC got cut. It was only a matter of time though. Honestly, <laughs> he burned a lot of bridges. <laughs> Well, it's just like I love Don Cherry. Me and Emin Bell, we used to watch Rock'em Sock'em videos at the Vatican the on VHS. <laughs> yeah, on VHS because we didn't have anything else on repeat. <laughs> We'd make fun of Don Cherry. The comments that he has are out of this world. Do you remember like the cutaway? That's what we were laughing about, me and Emin. Like the cutaways were priceless. So you'd see like, Guy gets hit, guy gets hit, guy gets hit. And then they'd cut away to like Don Cherry on the ice, like in full uniform. And they'd like pan in on his face real like tight. And he'd go, you think you're tough? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. And then they'd cut back to like more hits, more hits, more hits. <laughs> more blindside hits, more yeah. CT. <laughs> but the cutaways were priceless. How about this guy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, those cutaways were... <clears throat> I would go on YouTube. If you're a hockey fan, go on YouTube, type in Is Don Cherry Rock'em Sock'em. there a better dynasty Sock of hockey videos than Don Cherry Rock'em Sock'ems? <laughs> Is there a better rack of VHS of a 20 system VHS? That's got to be the great. Have you? Do you remember those shitty stick handling videos with that bald headed guy? Full, full track suit. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking Very about. Very yeah. unrealistic game. What were they called? Handling videos. <laughs> they <laughs> had like, a name. He's like whipping down the ice doing full spins. Like, yeah, that's never going to happen. <laughs> For what the name Get your is. phone. Get your phone on you. Look it up. <laughs> this is going to drive would I even? Crazy. What do I even type in? <laughs> Bald-headed hockey videos? <laughs> yeah, bald-headed stick hockey... Or uh, bald-headed hockey stick handling videos. Hockey instruction. Honestly, if I give myself 10 minutes, we might have a copy in the basement. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Skinner oh, my production. God. Look at that production. A Skinner production. Oh, my God. I'd say the time. I'm already, eight. I'm already all about it. Yes, <laughs> breakaway penalty shot. I love the transition and like the old 1990s PowerPoint this background like, default yeah, slides. This, <laughs> let's just say this is not edited on map. Okay, it's a Skinner <laughs> production, so you're getting the high quality. Yeah, <laughs> this is an in VCR edit right here. It's a okay, square. That's what this blue screen. It's is. a perfect square, meaning they did not have widescreen TVs. Oh my god. Skinner production, breakaways, penalty shots, and shootouts. What to do when you're on <laughs> penalty yeah, you think shots? This guy's pulling what out any color what to do moves? when you get those? When you get all those penalty <laughs> shots? <laughs> I'm think maybe he's busting taking out a, one he's out in about Sunday twenty morning. years. <laughs> yeah, I've literally taken one penalty shot. It was a shootout. Doesn't even count as a penalty shot. <laughs> Listen, this is where Zegris gets all his moves from. So. Yeah. What this <laughs> from is this good. video. Oh yes. Eighteen penalty shots done in two thousand fourteen. Hear the music behind this beast? Oh my god. This guy's got a rocket. Jesus. Look at that. Fake. Look at these moves. <laughs> <laughs> Angle of attack. Look at the head oh, fake. Oh, that was yeah. See the head fake? That was a vicious head duck. <laughs> Oh my god, in the skate. <laughs> this is the greatest video of all time. <laughs> Where goals are scored, percentage. Uh, Where what heroes are made. <laughs> Where heroes are made. What to do when you're on the shootout? Throw your glove. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so 
glad we found this again. <laughs> I want to just go back and watch all the videos. Just watch them. Well, I know what my Sunday is going to be filmed. <laughs> yeah, I, know what I'm doing <laughs> I was going to clean the house, but fuck it. Fuck it. Skinner videos. <laughs> oh, God. That is too funny. Keep Each playing. One. I want to see what else happens. Shooting, deking. I love shooting, the or I, I love, yeah. I love Let's the pyramids the, of success. Can the, <laughs> excuse me, sir. Can you please go back to the graph breakdown? <laughs> can you please go back to the screen where they go to the graph breakdown? Oh, I love the percentages. <laughs> oh, that was a vicious snow look. The pyramids right of here. success. Okay, okay, the pyramid of, of shooting. Every kid so, had this on their Are wall. you thinking of shooting? Yes. Listen, okay. Every there's... kid had this poster on their wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't want any other company to produce. <laughs> I want my next movie to be a Skinner production. Let me tell you something. I'm going to go out and find Skinner production <laughs> because we need him on our team. <laughs> I want Skinner production at the end of every movie. I'll type. tell you. For, yeah, if nothing else, he's organized. That's for sure. At he's least, super organized. He's very. He's got it broken down. Definitely didn't use a hand camera. Yeah. <laughs> I feel whether bad. you're for or against the moves, you can't really break down this guy's process. The he high is, stick. He is thorough. The high <laughs> stick left to the wide open five hole. <laughs> <laughs> the stick lift was crazy. That was that was a crazy move. <laughs> that goalie's standing there clueless. <laughs> Just absolutely clueless. Getting roasted. Oh yeah. yeah this goalie's yeah. getting absolutely torched. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're gonna pay me to look like a Now, do you remember like the early I'm Estel loving the silhouette decals. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you remember the early Estel days with this sort of editing? No, this was not in the Norwich Communications Handbook. The two VHS <laughs> tapes that they had, like, early. Hello. Look at the backdrop. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy looks like a serial killer. Makes it an iron, Sean, bud. Sean, <laughs> buddy, why'd you shave your eyebrows off? Oh, oh That makes it look so much worse. I oh, maybe it. he's got an issue. Maybe he can't grow hair. <laughs> you know that... that uh, mechanical horse game they have in Las Vegas where it's the horses and, and they run on the track and you bet which horse is going to win the race and the yeah. the machine like runs the thing. Yeah, I was thinking they should do one of those for NASCAR or at least make if you go to the company that does that makes that machine if yeah. we ask them to make a, a NASCAR like add on thing so you can like take the horses off and put NASCARs on you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Make them like interchangeable. Yeah, I. Uh, That'd be pretty sweet. I bought two remote control NASCAR cars, and uh, we've been racing them at the house. It's awesome. Oh, really? <clears throat> yeah, we played. Uh, we did a little beer cart with them. Do you do you have like a track set up in the room? So we the carpet. How the room is set up is there's a big square carpet with a table on it. Yeah. And the room's perfectly a rectangle, so we've been using that as the track. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So you go around the carpet. You got, like, the cars are, like, this big? Cars are this big. You want to see oh, that? that's pretty wide. And, like, they... That's whip, pretty big. They yeah. whip and they do donuts, too, so, like, I'm edging people out all the time. I love it, because I can... Once you're, like, driving... That's pretty sweet. Who plays that? You and Chandler? Yeah. and like That's I awesome. Over. Yeah. <laughs> Most of me and Chandler will play all the time. <clears throat> yeah, what if we got those puppies in like our fantasy warehouse? How much space we'd have? I'd love to build a real track because it'd be yeah. Safe. Oh, they're small. Yeah. Oh, those are much better. That's, not that's why I said like between my between my face. Yeah, that's the size. The roller that it comes with. Yeah, they're like they're like miniature. Yeah, so like what there's else? a size, there's another size of racing cars, um, one bigger than that. Have you seen those? Yeah, those things are really cool. Those so are pretty cool too. Yeah. Driving like this, like say I'm in this car, 
I love, I'll always just like swing it over and just edge the person onto the carpet. Yeah, absolutely. This is like Hanson Brothers. They brought their toys with them style. Oh, yeah. And these things do donuts and everything. They fly. Watch them. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Who's the company that makes those? Look at, flip it over. Uh, look at the, look underneath and see if you can see the name of the company that makes them. New Bright, made in China. Did you like the World Cup of RC Racing? Listen, we could start our own league if we Have you ever seen those drone racing? Have you seen that? Haven't you seen the video that went viral? Barstool was the first one that posted it, but it went viral of the guy who like catches the car and the other buddy like puts the juice in it and then they throw it back on the dirt track. It's like dirt track NASCAR racing oh, remote controls. Right. Yeah, but those are gas powered. They're gas powered, right. But those that's are... what I'm saying is like we could set up our own version of that. Have you ever seen those? That'd be a, really sweet. Um, uh, go, uh, Mario Kart course someone built. No, Have pull you, it up. Look at this. This is in a parking lot of a strip of a strip mall. It's <laughs> hardware. Oh my God. Yes. We need to be at this race. <laughs> I think it's invite only. <laughs> I was just about to say, you may not be able to find it. <laughs> Under, underground invite only. <laughs> underground invite only. Sam. What's up, guys? My name is Mark Sandra. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog, guys. We're here at the... Oh, they're RC cars. That's badass. Guys, we're handing out batteries right now. So what this race is, is we're going to race mini Z's on this little bitty track. That's track. Sweet. 599 laps. 599 laps. And they have to administer... Like, I don't know if I could, like, stand the lappage. That's a lot of laps. And you have to... Right, let's just watch it start. Oh my god. They start like real racers. Oh yeah. That is some BS. So they just said the non-driving driver has to marshal. And that would be me on two of my cars. I'm curious. Some of these turns, Sam, these are some pretty hardcore 90 degree turns. Like I'm you gym mats? Yeah. No, that's like the rubber mat that hockey players uh walk on yeah yeah it that's, looks like hockey mat those aren't cheap <laughs> no, it's expensive but I, i'm curious to see how they do on these 90 degrees oh i bet they fucking here we go oh, the, oh. oh shit. i was not expecting any of that all of them just took a hard right yeah i told you i knew this was gonna happen I, I'm, how are you gonna like not here to one car made it years. through Re to, give it the rewind. Yeah, I'm not here to tell these idiots how engineering works for cars, but you know. <laughs> but the design. Three of my cars. Three of my cars. Here you go. You have a straight turn, 90 degree. Okay, so you would assume that because there's so many 90 degree turns that this would be a thing that anybody would be able to handle. Yeah. I'm telling you, let's count how many cars get through. <laughs> that first wave just gets. I don't think one car made it through. <laughs> All I think hit. two of them. Play it out. I want to see. Some of these guys are doing pretty good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, obviously the camera guy had some trouble. Yeah. And we're back. Look at that over there. Oh, so there's mediators who will turn the cars around for you. Oh. We had some pretty hardcore collisions. It's pretty fucking nuts. This oh, is Mario Kart. Oh, they're we need to do this. this they're in season. battle. You remember battle? That's we need to do this. That's genius. They have did some sort of poker on the front. Yeah, they got like a little dart almost. I have those RC cars at my house. Wait, you have the Mario Kart ones? Oh, yeah. 
We should be playing. They're not as this. good as you think, though. How have you been, brother? Oh, I'm good, man. Um, I'm now no longer in the military, so I'm uh, trying to. Oh, really? Yeah, I got out. Oh, the porn industry. <laughs> No, I'm actually a uh, consultant at Deloitte, a uh, financial consultant. That is uh, unreal. Oh, yeah, I see it on your hat there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the, uh, the U.S. Open hat going on here. I'm trying That's to get this little uh, Cadillac's game going on here in the office. I got a TV. Yeah, up. same here. Yeah, the watch me lose. They're going to lose today, probably. What game you got going on back there? I just got the basketball game on right now, but I'm going to switch it over here in a second. Something else. Oh, they're playing Plymouth State today. I have a. I think I still have an unpaid parking ticket from Plymouth State. <laughs> oh my god, Plymouth State! What a that school! Fucking... Surprised it's still standing. Cool. The fact it has four, four. Are four, you watching the lacrosse game right now? I'm um, about to turn it on. I just turned it on. And, um, I put it on my. You talk to Anderson at all? No, no, no. Every, Every once should... in a while, I'll throw him a text. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll shoot him an email. Uh, yeah. Well, hold on a second. I'm gonna um yeah, gonna plug some stuff in here. You know. Yeah. No worries. Like I said, this is like super <laughs> loose. No, I don't. I haven't talked to him. I send him some emails every once in a while. Like every yeah. couple of years. To be like, hey, I'm still alive. You know, I'm doing doing all right. How are you? You know. Yeah. Um, exactly. You mind donating to the team? And I go, ah, I didn't bring my checkbook. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did give money once. Yeah, I mean, if I had any money, I'd give it to him. I'm wondering where the donations are going, because they're going towards ham and cheese sandwiches, which... Yeah, exactly. Listen, if I'm making a donation, I need it to go to pizzas. Yeah, I want better... (laughs) Oh, my God. God. Do you remember... So, do you remember the uh, the after after meals on the bus rides home? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. The world doesn't even have enough TP. <laughs> We've been on a bus oh, yeah. for five, five or six hours. We haven't eaten anything unless we brought snacks. We just played a game, and they're like, all right, we got you a cheese pizza, and you're going to have to split it with the guy next to you. Yeah, like, not great. You're like, they got 80 pizzas, yeah. and there's like 50 of us, and they're like, where are, the, like, where are all the pizzas going here, guys? Like, <laughs> Yeah, where are then, all the pizzas going? <laughs> then all the coaches are like, all the coaches are going home with like four or five pizzas at the end yeah. of the day. But like, I think the bus driver got a pizza too. He's like, what does he need a pizza, you know? Yeah. Greasiest Man, those were the days. Greasy were- pizzas were shit. <laughs> yeah. Playing were- lax at Norwich. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those days, uh, like... That was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun, Sweet Lou, you and I. Yeah. During that season. Yeah, we did. I remember we played in Maine, one game in Maine, and yeah. um, it was like a night game. And we left at like 8 o'clock in the morning. I guess they thought, like, we'd never been there before, so they thought it was going to take us all longer. We got there at like 8 o'clock in the morning. We left oh, at like yeah. Eight, left at 8 o'clock. We got there at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The game's not at like 7. Yeah, and I remember that. Some, is that some like high school or something? And they're like, uh, here's your locker room. And it was a bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> it was just the bathroom. <laughs> so we're like, this isn't really a locker room. And like, this is kind of just a bathroom for the park. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> Literally was a. Uh, yeah. Hucking around in those buses. You have to change on the bus. There's some games. A lot of times you, you were getting changed on the bus for sure. Walking out full equipment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then like all then, right, let's do a couple jogs around the uh, around the field here, get warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. All right, boys, let's go out here and do this, 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 and yeah. this. Go out and compete. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing's yeah. better than being a goalie in lacrosse and having to do warm up shots for players. Yeah, zero warm up <laughs> and goalie lacrosse. <laughs> hey, you want to get in there and take a couple shots? No, it hurts every time. No, I don't. Let's just <laughs> no, play the game. No, I don't. I'd rather start playing the game here. <laughs> so my, oh, yeah. my, my freshman year, we played at uh, we played a Saturday afternoon game at MIT. Oh, yeah. And, uh, we, uh, the Coach Anderson wasn't there yet. It was uh, another coach. Uh, we were just awful, right? And uh, yeah, they, we weren't great. <laughs> you know, we weren't great. So we go down to MIT and we're like, oh, man. 
MIT was decent. Like we, we yeah. thought we had a chance, right? Go we'll play compete. With <laughs> yeah, against MIT, right? At MIT. So it's a Saturday afternoon game. We roll up there and we're like, wow, look, it's our spring festival going on. And all we see is just kids walking around with cases of cases of beer. Like it's like a huge party going on. And like they're like chirping us, like their students are chirping us. And then we're like, this is like a there's like standing room only crowd at MIT. We're like, well, what's going on? Like people from all over come in and they're like, oh yeah, uh, Drake is playing tonight at our uh, oh, spring festival. So this That's is like, right. That was like, before dude, Drake got big. Yeah, it's like 2007. I'm like, yeah. It's like they at booked, MIT. Yeah, they booked Drake. They booked Drake like 68 months earlier before Drake was like, Drake was a nobody, right? So he's yeah, like, he wasn't that big when we were coming up. Yeah, so he, he was a nobody, so they booked him. Yeah, he was still cut. Yeah, he's still cutting his wings. Yeah, and they get him, and he had like one big song come out, and like he started blowing up, and uh, that they got him. So like, here is Drake playing at MIT. <laughs> so basically, what you're saying, Sweet Lou, is Drake came to Norwich and played us out at our lacrosse game. <laughs> he didn't come to Norwich. No, nobody. Yeah, comes to Norwich. he didn't come to Norwich. Right? Yeah. <laughs> He definitely came to MIT. It was cool, but like, yeah. And then after the game, coach was like, "Hey, everybody on the bus, let's go home." And we're like, "No, nah, we, we want to stay here. Uh, we uh, want to stay and hang out with Drake." I'm not sure <laughs> if you know who that is. <laughs> we don't want to hop on a bus to go back to Vermont. There's no worse feeling than when the away uh, when you're the away team and the and the home team fans get a hold of the roster and they just start picking apart players. <laughs> you know, here's the thing about being an athlete. It's so funny. You know the moment that they've got that roster, right? Because oh, you're a player and you're going out there in like the first period or the first half or whatever sport you're playing. And you know the moment they've caught like wind of your name oh. or your number. <laughs> the worst now is social media because not only do they go for you, they go after your girlfriend. They oh, go they're going to go after your family. <laughs> you're calling her your little brother, your parents. It's, like, I love it. It's so gutless, but fuck. So gutless. You got to be, you got to have balls of steel because the, the shit that gets said is fucking hilarious. Like, yeah. What was it Mount Ida? They no, got fans, whole... they're normal people. Neil <laughs> hated it. Neil hated it. He, I think it was Mount Ida got a hold of the roster, and he was, like, trying to like, complain. I'm like, dude, eh, it's not going to work out. Yeah, that team. may be, that's going to make it worse. <laughs> then, like, you have to take a piss. You have to walk through their fucking fan section. <laughs> yeah. That's the yeah, one. That, oh, that's rough, yeah. I mean, it is. That's cool. right, Sam. You played, a, you played goalie for a couple of years there. That's right. That's right. Got it. Yeah. It, uh, suck. Ham and cheese. I forgot how much I hated playing goalie. <laughs> I forgot you. I forgot you ate a few ham and cheese yourself. <laughs> you had to... well, I totally forgot to. to... Yeah. One and done. Now one that uh, one year and I got this like... box ham and cheese box. Yeah, that about... good old ham and cheese. How about one game we were playing? We're up. So you guys actually had like the hardest schedules ever, and then when I came through, he they kind of figured out like well they reworked the league when you changed conference. Yeah, like you guys had to play like nationally ranked teams, whereas we played like the bottom dwellers, and it's like competitive. Yeah, we played Springfield, and we got worked. We played like Springfield, MIT, like we played schools where guys only have right hands, like they can only shoot right. (laughs) Like that's the thing. Like I came from high school, I was like, wait, you guys can't pass and catch righty or lefty. Like some of these teams, like they only go right. Yeah. I was like blown away. And then, uh, yeah, we were playing some team 17 to 1. I tried to go down to take a shot, got yelled at. Like, dude, come on. It's 17 to 1. Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. We had some what? Like, I think our, we had some wild games. Like, my freshman year before Neil got there, we played Bowden in Florida. Yeah. And it, and it Bowden is, is for real. Yeah. And what's funny is uh, Bowden was like, they worked us like it was bad. Like, I think really bad. And, um, well, Nescat's nasty in lacrosse. Well, Bowden, yeah, after, good. after the game, Bowden was like, yeah, this is the best team we've ever had. And they went to like the semifinals that year. Yeah, yeah. no, they're really good. <laughs> no right being, no right being on the field with them. Here I'm doing face offs. I was a true freshman doing face offs against a kid that's going to be like an All American. I'm like, oh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How about this crazy? Here? 
We played one team that was in the top 50. It was about 22 to 1 at half. Yeah, not great. <laughs> he goes, dude, you gotta, we got to stick. He's like, stick we gotta have to, to the game plan. Here. Yeah, he's like, stick to the game plan. No, motherfucker, we got to do the opposite. Game plan? <laughs> game plan. It's 22 to 1. What game yeah. plan are you talking about? So it's not working. Can we, we use throw it out the game plan? Yeah. He's like, well, we don't slide to long poles. Dude, everyone in the MLL with a long pole can shoot. So you better fucking slide to one fast Dude, break. It's, it's <laughs> not even about sliding at this point. They've put in 22 goals, man. Yeah. Just take anybody out. Every God, defenseman. Do anything. Every fast break, they're, they're, he's like, oh, we don't want to slide. We like to let the defenseman shoot. He goes, Dude, everyone's a shooter on this team. <laughs> you got to slide to somebody. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Everybody shoots. Everybody yeah. shoots. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has scored already. Can we just <laughs> yeah. slide to anybody? <laughs> Let's everybody on their roster has a goal. <laughs> They're Let's... putting their equipment manager in right now. Oh yeah. my god. They just put... take anybody out. It was bad because they went through their entire roster goalies after. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Like you that. know it's bad when they're throwing in that. They're like third string goalie. Like, I get it. Throw the backup in, get some scrub minutes. But when you're on to like the fourth string goalie, like that's just so embarrassing. Very demoralizing. <laughs> and he doesn't even like. And he gets a he like made like four saves. And you're like, God damn it! <laughs> this kid's making better breakout passes. <laughs> like he's gonna be the player. He's gonna be the player of the week for his conference. Oh yeah, yeah he's already exactly. got more saves than fucking half our team. I got some great. I got some great questions for you. I brought back a little memories. So I was thinking about uh, communications. You know, like, Astle's gone, right? They're... Yeah. Well, Bill, uh, right before like COVID hit. Um, yeah, they pushed him out. Do you still live in Northfield, or where I you? honestly I don't, don't. Has anybody heard? No from one him? has contact, alive? and I live next to the fucking campus. <laughs> that guy, man, he's just like disappeared oh. off the face of the map. Well, he has the weirdest story because he came in. No one knew his backstory whatsoever. The only backstory that anybody knew about. So just for people, I don't know if you're going to be clipping this together, but this is a professor that Jordan and I had. He taught us everything that we know about movies and or movie making and or creating movies or story. This guy's like super genius when it comes to like movie stuff. He taught us everything. And the guy has disappeared off the face of the map. Like, we have no idea where he is. I hope he's still alive. He's an awesome. I mean, he is. Without him, I wouldn't have a college degree. Because uh, Bush wasn't giving me one. <laughs> well, you had Bush. Oh, Bush is gone. Bush is. It's he's gone too. Him. Yeah. So, let me tell you about the story about little Ken Bush in journalism class, right? Yeah. <laughs> so they so won. So everybody's like, all you hear is horror stories about this class. And day one, you got to write it. It's brutal, blah, blah, blah. So day one, he's like, hey, you can volunteer for anything like that. So I literally was up, like waiting to raise my hand. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Um, I like to be a writer in the sports section. Sports. <laughs> I cover, I cover sports. They're like, okay, yeah, not, not a problem. And they're like, you got to come up with all these ideas and stuff like that for sports. And I'm like, yeah, that's easy. Well, let me do a recap of the football game where the football team lost to the deaf school by 30. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for the swimming team, let, me, let me do a season preview for that. You know, yeah. I can easily do that. This is easy. Right. Sports stuff. Exactly. There are people like, I, I need, I need, like, you got to, he's like, you need five stories for, you need five story ideas by the next class. You're like, well, that's easy. Sports, blah, blah, blah. Like people are like, ah, oh. like writing about the, the, the campus dining hall, oh, like, yeah. dining hall. A, a campus <laughs> section legend. <laughs> Let's just say that campus newspaper was not the New York Times. Everyone like drives their lacrosse gloves with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Neil has like massive amounts of school paper. They got to dry your stuff out with this. <laughs> I, I, the thing was like, so I was like, oh yeah, let me, I'll easily do that. And people are like, man, I'm struggling writing these stories. Like how, how do you, how do you do these? And I'm like, Dude, it's easy. I just write sports. Like I literally go on ESPN.com and follow the sports. Like the solution over to how to write the stuff, you know, or like the athletic website. And the yeah. Times always like cover the same thing. So I'm just. I used to love making up quotes. I, I'd ask buddies, I'd be like, "Hey, yeah, you know, right? Your name? <laughs> Journalism? <laughs> you couldn't pass it. it. Like nobody could pass it. 
Dude, the every week fucking paper was a death sentence because Sunday oh, yeah. rolls around and you're in scramble yeah. mode typing it. <laughs> I, got, I, think I got an A. I think I got an A and a B, like B in that. Yeah. Did you ever have so to take hard. it over again? Um, Did you ever have to take it over again? No, I, I'm one shot, one kill. Like I, I think I solidly got an A. Sweet Lou had the magic touch, and it came to that class. There are some people that we were struggling. Evan Bell took it three times. I took it three times. I had a buddy. I might have taken it. I still haven't it. passed it. I still need it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had a buddy who got through both first time, and you're like, man, how'd you do it? Like, yeah. <laughs> you're like so jealous. Another story I remember hearing was. Uh, Eddie Hong, he's Taiwanese, right? Oh, yeah. He's student. So, like, English is, like, his third, third or fourth language, right? So, he comes in, and, like, everybody's like, oh, man, like, Professor Bush is like, oh, this dude has perfectly good grammar, English, and this, this, and this. You guys need to do better. And we're like, yeah, because it's the only English he knows. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's the perfect gra- hey, grammar. Oh, dude, all the foreigners always yeah, had the bro. best, like, vocab. Like, they're unbelievable English tests because they just knew. Well, they everything. learned proper. Yeah, yeah, they learned proper English. <laughs> How about this one? I got a zero. Not on this Bush. dirt fucking shit that we're <laughs> yeah. speaking right now. <laughs> I got a zero on Bush's noun quiz because I forgot a pencil. And, I and like, so you yeah, know, yeah. handing out the test, right? So I'm like, oh, fuck. Fuck, I don't have a pen. I don't have a pen. I woke up pretty late, so I was like, I don't, I didn't bring anything, because usually most of the time, journalism one, it's just like you just listen to them. So if you you don't bring anything, you don't have to. So then it starts hitting the test out. People get quiet. I'm like trying to ask around. I, so I'm in the corner. I have the guy in front of me and a person to the right of me. So I start asking the kid from me, like, you have a pencil? No. Turn to the core kid, who naturally always they always have the pencils, right? Yeah, he's got a few pencils. Like, pencils. Yeah, I thought that's part of the uniform. So I'm like, dude, do you have a pencil? He's like, no. I'm like, well, how do you not have a fucking pencil? Are you not prepared? He's like, well, how do you not have a pencil? I'm like, all right, that's good, but pretty good. <laughs> so then I leave and I start walking around the comm building trying to find a pencil. Panicked. Came back. <laughs> He's like, the tests were all done. So then we had to announce our grades out to the class. Oh Everyone's God. getting hundos. I had to yell out zero. <laughs> zero. Like, uh, Just a flat zero. Yeah. He just looks at me like, <laughs> I didn't have a pencil. Go take the fucking test. <laughs> and let me go drop this class. I'll take an next class. <laughs> yeah. How long do we have to drop it before it hurts our grade? <laughs> when's that, Three times. When's that? When, when do we have to drop this class? Like, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Remember yeah. Professor, you need to drop it now. <laughs> remember Professor Batra? We'd have to run. Oh, yeah. He was great, too. Wow. We literally watched The Simpsons. <laughs> yeah. Cool. He You're fell so asleep funny. during Roots. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a good look on his behalf, but he was past, He was like asleep in the corner. Is he still, is he still from teaching? Uh, I'm not sure if he's still there anymore. I have him on LinkedIn. Like, the dude's always posting stuff on LinkedIn, but like, yeah. he, he's posting like very intellectual stuff and all this stuff. And I'm like, maybe he's really cool. smart. We got yeah. to be at Norwich. I think he should be at some other big school or somewhere. Yeah, he was. He did not belong at Norwich. No, he was wicked smart. Yeah. yeah How yeah. about uh, I was thinking about like the Vatican. Remember that fucking like oh, hepatitis yeah. shot? Yeah, we like lived there. Sweet Lou and I lived there for like the whole summer, and then it's part of the year, I think, even. Yeah. I heard, yeah. I heard, I heard part of it burnt down. <laughs> Are you serious? Part of it's burnt down. I heard like there was like a fire. I'd love to go back and see if, how it is. I think like the side. Sh- oh my god! It was a fucking my, last, hole. my last year, they remodeled it and like cleaned it up, and it was like kind of nice. Oh wow! The Hungerfords. Yeah, you never know, right? The Hungerfords moved into that place. Oh, after- Huggies. <laughs> yeah, Man, yeah. They, they, were- they, they took care of it a little bit, but it's still like. Yeah. I love the Hungy Brothers. We had some, like, you didn't walk around there bare feet. Like, kind no, of. never. Never <laughs> barefoot. No, <laughs> that's the death floor sentence. was stained black. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't even, yeah. Always shoes. Always shoes. You, I love when you walk around, you just hear the stickiness of your shoes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Peeling off the ground. <laughs> also questionable if you uh, ate anything out of the refrigerator. Yeah. Oh. Also, you probably didn't want to do that. The fridge, I didn't want to uh, eat any food that resided in the way there. Those kitchens were war zones. Just so many 
cops. The whole house was a war zone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how like these guys just like peacefully slept. Like the room was like the only place that wasn't broken. <laughs> we had like eight guys in there. Yeah, yeah. At one time, because there was like five guys, and then you added like Collins, me, and Sweet Lou. We're like three kind of guys who would just stay there often. Twenty four seven. Yeah, we just kind of stay there on the couches often, just like live there for like three or four days at a time. So I was like our house. We had guys. Yeah, that, they they had a door. They never went. <laughs> yeah, they lived there. They're cooking food. You wake up, they're making breakfast for themselves. I don't think we ever. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I don't. I don't know if anybody ever cooked meals there. No, I don't think we oh, like, your cooked place? proper. Cooked. I don't know. I mean, we may have used the microwave. <laughs> the microwave <laughs> was used. But like, you can talk about like pots and pans. Like, oh. The only yeah, utensil no. you guys had was a microwave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you couldn't. Oh, you, did you guys could... cook in that place? Yeah, we cook quite a bit in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, yeah put, about, put in for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we got pretty thrifty with that microwave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then oh. McShane. Big shame would stop by randomly and we'd all be just like sitting there like uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, clean this fucking place up. <laughs> <laughs> like, who the fuck are you, man? I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sweet lamb. And that fucking dog shit of a cable company that the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the whole time had to fucking go. <laughs> Their dial up was fucking high speed. <laughs> oh my god, that cable company. Trans cable. <laughs> Who, who worked? Yeah, yeah. yeah who worked? <laughs> that lady, like dollars. That lady had two jobs: chain smoking, <laughs> <and> just <laughs> taking checks. I think you. I think it was. I think it was a rental company. Like I think you can uh, the movie rentals, like a uh, friendly video kind of like blockbuster. Yeah, and there was like a hardware store attached. <laughs> yeah. was in that, the fucking corner of that fucking back right corner of that. <laughs> Dude, area back there, next to the Pizza Depot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> In a in a span of three places, you had your cable company, your hardware <laughs> store, and the pizza joint. The pizza all shop, right, all right there. <laughs> that center. How about the oh, fact yeah. that there was a live Northfield stream center, yeah. live stream center of town with no. <laughs> The the Northfield live stream of the center of town is what makes it that town so great. Oh my god! You just want to hit up the live stream of the town. You just sit there. Yo, let's check out who's in the town center. Hit up channel four. Yeah, yeah. You just sit there in snowstorms and get like, all right, let's let's get some beers and start drinking beers and watch them like clean off the downtown. That, that, uh, yeah, city. exactly. I knew oh guys who would, like, uh, like the. Uh, they were doing live streams before live streams were cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was part of the cable package. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got it as a channel. The worst part is you had to go to like channel three to fucking see the ticker to see it's what like channel. Like the Truman three. Show before the Truman <laughs> Show came out. Yeah, yeah. Like what? What is this? A nineteen eighties cable company? It's like twenty ten. Yeah. <coughs> no, oh, cell phone, some no cell phone service. No and cell phone land service. cable. <laughs> but if you need to know, fucking Ricky's out in the fucking town center. Just hit up channel four. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a calling. Here's a calling card. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what it was like. Oh to my god. All people like texting in college and like cell phones. Like we didn't have like, no service. You had to like. Go stick your head outside a window on the like yard line door. football field. Zero service. In the middle of fucking no nowhere, ball. Vermont. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like what what planet am I living on where Verizon doesn't get in here? It's twenty. When dead. people say rural to me, I just laugh. I'm like, okay. I don't yeah. even know if you really even understand what rural is. Even a lady who didn't graduate high school is laying out my cable for me. Yeah, he's laying out my cable cord. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like you're having three darts hanging out her mouth. <laughs> you go in. All going at the same time. <laughs> yeah, my favorite is you go in and you pay her. She goes, All right, we'll turn it on at about three. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, they turn it on when they want to turn it on. <laughs> they would turn it off real quick if you didn't it. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Oh, they turn it off real quick. <laughs> it was, uh, your like your food options was the pizza place, the uh, Chinese Subway, 
Chinese. China Star. Yeah. China Star Subway in the pizza place you had about 90 hundred slices from. <laughs> there are three food options here. You better uh, buckle up and get used to them. <laughs> like, like, how do you show the town around? We have beautiful food options. <laughs> They're all next door. Yeah. All within walking distance, <laughs> which is really handy. <laughs> you had one light in the center of town. It's a caution. It's just you want to hang out in the center of town? You can do that, or you want to watch the center of town? <laughs> <laughs> you got to a real fancy dinner guy. Awesome. Yeah, get a nice fancy dinner from China Star, the number seven. <laughs> Maybe. Roll up to the town center and have ourselves an afternoon. <laughs> There's so, Jordan, you're, you're, you're a financial advisor now? Is that what you're doing? No, I'm a financial consultant. So uh, Financial consultant. Okay. Yeah, and so what kind of company is the <coughs> company on the side? What What it's, is uh, it? Deloitte, so we're, we're consulting. We're professional services. So we're consulting uh, audit, tax, and advisor. Oh, cool. So we're like we're really cool. big big four. So uh, we're the largest private uh, service company in the world. Yeah. Um, so I work mostly with the uh, in the DOD US DOD space in the government. Oh, that's really cool. So what? Oh, I so really you do, have because you have military experience. Yeah, and I have some cert certifications. Financial. Yeah, that's really cool. So basically, what I do is like I uh, right now I'm like helping on the helping the Air Force. Yeah. Become, like become audit ready and try to ha help them pass an audit yeah so it's, it's very painful um so wait that's the government really yeah. audit their own like military big time oh so what happens is the big time they audit them so they they hire contractors yeah because they want to make sure there's no fraud within the system right yeah or like we're not wasting using money so they hire, right. hire cpas to come in and they're like well let's look at your business processes and all this stuff <laughs> why did you spend a uh, hundred dollars over here and it's like oh we need to make sure that you have receipt receipts and the receipts are signed and all this stuff yeah so they're trying to like make it like make it more like a corporate thing yeah. um just to make sure we're not wasting money like the taxpayers money okay. so right. pretty good i mean um so no that's great yeah so Office is out of Washington, D.C., right, right, uh, literally right across the river. Oh, wow. From Georgetown. However, I uh, never, uh, never go in. I work from home. Uh, oh, okay. So where are you right now? Like, and, uh, So I bought a house uh, last spring in Annapolis, Maryland. Oh, so you're in Maryland right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Annapolis, <laughs> cool. Annapolis is like 30 minutes from D.C. Yeah. Wicked cool because yeah, it is a military. Yeah, remember when we played? We didn't we play? Uh, we did it for Colgate. Oh, that was Bridgeton. That wasn't college. Navy prep. Yeah, I played Navy prep down there. It's beautiful. Yeah, man. So it's we're like right on I'm two blocks from the uh, two blocks from the water. We're two yeah. blocks. Yeah. Didn't so, the Winter Classic play at yeah, Annapolis? We played down here a while ago. Yeah. That's cool. So it's cool. Um, I actually went to the Navy High Point lacrosse game yesterday because. Oh wow! Yeah, High Point's good now. Yeah, so my fiance's little brother is a junior at uh at uh High Point. That's awesome. So we went and watched them play yesterday. So I was like, oh, he plays lacrosse. Yes. Yeah, so wow, they're really good now. Yeah. Oh man. So um, <coughs> two little brothers. There's like a huge age gap in there. Um, yeah. So one of her little brothers plays at High Point. The other one plays at NJIT. So oh, that's really cool. So it's pretty cool, but they the high school they went to is uh called Georgetown Prep. Prep yeah, I know Georgetown Prep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. breeding ground for studs. Breeding ground for cross studs. Yeah, yeah. So I literally like last year, her little youngest brother was a senior there, and yeah. we were watching awesome play. I was like, oh, they play like yeah, they're a really good program. Like they had nine kids go Division One off the team last year. Yeah, like, super oh. known for being super disciplined. Yeah, yeah. Like they have a golf course on their campus. Yeah. I just, just remember their team is run like a machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very uh very very good, like beautiful campus and stuff. Um so I mean Maryland's lacrosse heavy down here. Oh so, yeah. They got amazing lacrosse in all of that whole area. 
It's well, like the game has the college lacrosse has gotten so good. I just wish the pros would like get that next jump. They're coming. Yeah, I think well, Rabel, he's trying to figure it out, right? So like you're not gonna figure it out in the first five years. I don't think so. So I think you basically just got to hold on <laughs> and he's the doing problem, right. The problem they run into is the sponsor is sponsorships. And yeah. yeah. And the way they set their league up is a little different, right? Yeah. The PLL, like it's a, they go city to city right. and the teams are clubs and they're not like hooked to a particular city, which is kind of cool. It's yeah. cool. At your first your first inclination <laughs> is to go, that's not going to work because business-wise, loyalty to to region, right? But then you start thinking about it. Well, it may be more like a circus in the sense that your guys will get to be popular all around the world, right? So, I mean, I don't know. We'll see if it works out. Or, yeah, yeah, this is their third year. So many nasty college lacrosse players that just don't want to play pro. <laughs> Well, what happens is a lot of them go to these really good academic schools, right? Yeah. And they get really good degrees. And they get know. good jobs, right? Right. It's like, hey, do I want to go? Do I want to go try to play at PLL and be a high school JV coach? Or... Get my ass beaten. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right? For five grand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? 40 grand, 50 grand teaching. Guys, or, like, oh, I want to work for some stock market company. Be a stock market. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's like the kid that was with Jesse at uh, Colgate. He quit. <laughs> he made too much money on the on Wall Street. Yeah, he was really good. So yeah, he he went pro and then was like, eh, I'm making more money doing this, and I don't have to get my arms broken every day. Dude, the hacks that come out now are so vicious. When you play lacrosse, you basically don't feel your arms for three. <laughs> The, the, pads, the, pads, like the, the elbow pads and like the shoulder pads they're getting smaller and smaller like they're not even wearing yeah them. they're like yeah. it's even pointless it's, it's just, just a jersey it's, it's just it's almost insulting to put <laughs> pads on now it's like yeah, you look back really guy yeah, what you look at you take like a notepad and wrap it around your arm and just tape that to your arm <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy because a lot of those guys go indoor outdoor and box across they beat the shit out of well, each other indoor is like a whole different animal it's just a street fight. <laughs> it's a whole different animal. Box lacrosse, they make a lot. That actually makes a lot of money. Those guys yeah, have, exactly. Because they're structured a, more yeah. like, yeah, they're structured more like hockey. <laughs> like ice hockey. I had a uh, box lacrosse video game for PlayStation. Still have it. It's sick. It has all the original team. I mean, they've expanded since then. But got the announcer in it too. Oh, yeah. It's like NHL uh, it's yeah. like NHL hits with box lacrosse. Right. I Blind remember that side. They play the music during the action. Those fights, too. Like, uh, we went to one game at uh, Mohegan Sun. Shannon and I went to a game down here. Really? They're pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, Thompson Brothers play in Georgia, right? Uh, yeah. One of the brothers and one of the cousins. The other brother plays somewhere else. That Six Nation shit, they look so badass with that. It's fucking so Yeah, sick. I mean, they're, they're unbelievable. So, lacrosse is starting to get big in Europe. That's what I heard. Oh, wow. the World it's Cup, there. right? Yeah, it's there. Like, cool. It's there, but it, like, it's it's growing. I mean, I would say it's probably growing more than baseball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. base, if, ba yeah. if there's a sport that's like really hurting, it's got to be baseball. I don't know how they afford those contracts. <laughs> baseball, yeah, they're they're about to have a lockout. I think. Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. When's the last time you watch anybody on here is watch sat at home and like all right sat at home and watch baseball? No. October. That's the only time in <laughs> yeah, October. Socks have to be in it. Well, like I'll watch some October games. I like you think about it like a Friday night on a uh, like Friday night, like, hey, let's get some uh China star number seven. <laughs> yeah. Nice little let's colon watch, blowout. Let's watch the game tonight. Yeah, yeah, nobody's doing that. Not for baseball. But they will go to the game. I'll go to but I think people would go to the game more than watch it on TV. Yeah. I for go sure. To, like we went to a Nats game back in um, August. And I think they played the Braves. I don't remember. So somebody gave us tickets. And it was in this like club section. Yeah. And you go. And it's, it's all you can eat and all you can drink. Jesus. So and we found it. And then afterwards, we found the tickets. We found tickets like stuff up like 
in this section. It's like six sections, right? And uh, right behind home plate and um, down first base, it's like $100. I was like, dude, $100 to take it. So you pay $200. You go, you get a, get a meal, a couple, maybe two uh, meals, five, six drinks, you know, because drinks are like 10 bucks at a stadium. You're like, well, this yeah, is- drinks are expensive at sports yeah. games. Here's a 20. I'll take 15 to give you back yeah. one. Ah, fuck. Ah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm be sober. Uh, <laughs> and I'm broke and sober. <laughs> it's, like wa- it's like waters are four bucks. Four yeah. Bucks game, like, uh, for like a little bit of water. Like, what? And they Docs take the top away. Sox so games are like ranked in the top five for most expensive concessions. <laughs> you go yeah. in with a 20, you come out with like a th- tiny thing of peanuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You can't even afford booze there. Beers are like sixteen bucks. It's oh, like yeah. what it doesn't go to the stadium because the stadium's been the same for like two hundred years. So where no, is the money into the pocket of the owner? <laughs> <laughs> I I see the it was right here. into his bank account. <laughs> so, so I lived in Europe for about three and a half years. Oh, great, cool. I have a great story about Jimmy Kohler. Oh might, yeah, the K man. Edit this one out. But so going to going to Europe was awesome because we go to like all these European soccer matches, right? Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Oh my god, I, that's like a dream of mine, dude. Imagine like going to like a college basketball game, yeah, you know, for like a uh, college basketball college, <laughs> in a in a, like a pro sports NFL game, and like yeah, and it's oh, like, dude, and the Europeans have got something figured out with their stadiums. Um, the only thing that's open, like is not covered, is the field. So the stands, oh, wow. all, stands are all covered, and like it's like pouring rain. You're like, oh man, I don't know if I want to like put the old rain gear on to go to the game. You're like, you just need a little bit of rain jacket to get you through the oh, rain or your park. Interesting. To the uh, stadium, and it's like covered. And yeah, it's weird. It was like beautiful stadiums, and then also like the other thing is like the Germans, right? The Germans, you. Uh, you have to get there before the game starts, right? And then you get there before the game, and then that time where they're playing, and you don't leave your seat. So you got to go to the bathroom. And oh, get wow. Get another beer. They'll start, like, booing you. I'm like, hey, get, what are you doing? Like, get out of here. Oh, kind of thing. So, wow. like, so you only have, like, a during the game, you only have a key window to go get refills is, like, at halftime. Yeah, that's crazy. So you I can't believe it's so structured like that. Well, it's wild because, like, yeah. you, you get, super you get, intense. Yeah, but like you see these old guys carrying like six beers to, up to their seats before yeah. they get like, what's the six beers for? And then at halftime they come, they you get it. Yeah, they, they, they get six more. And you're like, oh, now I understand, right? They don't want to miss that one goal. It's planning. Cool. Yeah, hey. oh, game one goal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You Nine missed nine. that one goal. And you, you just leave the game. You just missed the whole action. You missed the whole game. <laughs> you just sucked in about ninety minutes of shit for fucking that <laughs> ten second shot. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy, so Jimmy Kohler was uh, we were stationed together in Germany, right? Yeah. So he was he was my dentist over there. So there was like a bunch of dentists we had to go to and stuff. Yeah. I would like to see uh, Doctor Kohler. I'd like to have Doctor Kohler. That's uh, Doctor Kohler, and, the, and the, the receptionist is like, "Well, he's kind of booked. You know, it might be a while before that." I'm like, "Listen, we were, we were roommates in college," and they were like, "What?" I was yeah. like, "We were one of the we lived, we lived basically the roommates." Yeah, basically roommates. He had his own room, but yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. He didn't. Yeah, he didn't stay with us all the time. So, so Jimmy comes uh comes in, he's like, hey, he does a stand, he's like, hey man, uh like we're gonna have to take your wisdom teeth out. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know, I've been putting it off and probably should have gotten it done. He's like, Yeah, it's not bad, but we just let's go ahead and take your wisdom teeth out. And so I was like, All right, man. And so one of the things they do with wisdom teeth, like the army, is they're notoriously they're just like won't put you to sleep, right? They just take go in there and uh, they, yeah, they'll, they'll mummy up some. But I literally looked at Jimmy and I was like, listen. You're gonna put me to sleep. He's like, well, that's you have to knock me out. Yeah, like I'm not like, I'm. He's like, no, oh, man, I, I can't do that. We don't really do that. It's really hard to do that. I was like, listen, Jay. Why? Like I've been over his house before and stuff. I literally yeah. was like, I know the Dragon Slayer stories, Jimmy. Yeah, the Dragon Slayer stories. You want me? To- <laughs> You're putting me under. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to start telling your wife stories? Yeah. Let me get you that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Schedule. How much gas? All right, we'll put you under. 
Dude, it was the best. It was the best uh, thing ever. Like, so he, it must have just been so crazy running into him, being like, "Holy shit, I know this guy." Yeah, this dude was like, it was so funny. It was he was like so big into like army and like doing all this hua hua stuff. And I was yeah, like, you weren't hua hua back in college. No, you was Mister Mister Fucking Biology class. Yeah, yeah, he's like, dude, yeah, he's funny. Like we had some good times together. Like that's what I'm saying. It must have been so trippy for you, like seeing him in that setting. Like, oh my god, like, no, you're wait, you're not a military person. <laughs> because at Norwich, he he wasn't in the military. He was the complete opposite. That kid slept in noon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> it's still trippy to me to see him to see him in the military, Jordan. When yeah. I see it, when he you know, see him, his photos or stuff. I'm always like, it's just so crazy. Cause I don't see him as that kind of person, you know? Dude. And it's also hilarious is he's like a big gym rat, right? He's a yeah. huge, huge gym rat. Big gym. Yeah. He literally has like his, uh, admin assistant schedule, uh, time in his day so he can go, uh, work out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. He's a, Jimmy's got a little hard on him for sure. Yeah. Like he works out two or three times a day. Like yeah, he may go a little excess. <laughs> it's crazy but, how many guys that graduate get into the army because there's like Timmy Houston. He's also another. Yeah, one. Timmy Houston was another one. Same sort of deal. Nuts. Complete opposite. <laughs> Complete opposite. I mean, he yeah. didn't make it through four years at Norwich. <laughs> I got a I got a segment here. It's Would You Rather. We'll go around the horn here. You ready? Do it. All right. Would you rather uh, Thanksgiving food versus Fourth of July food for options? I'm gonna go Thanksgiving because it kind of covers the whole. Actually, no, I gotta have to back that up. Because in July. Thanksgiving food, you're not getting hamburgers, cheeseburgers, fried chicken. <laughs> All right, Randy Bobandy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go July Fourth food. I think because I like I like those four things I just mentioned. <laughs> I'm I'm a July Fourth guy too because yeah, the thing about July Fourth burger, the burger, the hot dogs, the fries, the chips, fried chicken, the, yeah, the, the beer, the the fireworks. I'm all about that, right? Me yeah. too. It's like yeah. acceptable to be fucked up during that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then it's acceptable to be fucked up and then you go to, uh, shoot fireworks off. Great idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love the the makeshift home fireworks. Those people are just engineers, <laughs> just yeah. placing them in next to houses. That, uh, Thanksgiving dinner thing, right? If it's Thanksgiving dinner, that turkey and stuff is so good, right? That meal is the greatest meal of the year. How come we don't have that meal more? Yeah, like, no, right. yeah, I mean, right. No, no I agree. Once Fourth of July, we have that meal all the time. All the time. Oh my god! All right, that's so I true. Agree. I never thought about that. It's a great point. Thanksgiving's just carbo load. Just stuffing. What stuffing? Ah, it's just bread mashed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Want some potatoes? More, more carbs. <laughs> All right. I got uh, Marvel movies versus DC comic movies. Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. Unless this new Batman is something special. Then we're gonna have to. Then we have to switch. But is that the Patterson one? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't it comes out next weekend. Didn't he get like they wanted him to not have the same voice as Christian Bale? Uh, they wanted him to feel have the freedom to make it his own and explore different stuff if they if he wanted to, right? Like they didn't want him to feel like he was locked in. Yeah. Just doing it that way. Yeah, I'd have to say Marvel, the Marvel Universe, sick. I mean, Disney's yeah. crushing it. And DC, I wasn't the biggest fan of Suicide Squad. I like all those movies. I just don't like them as much as I like Marvel films. Yeah, that's kind of the goat. Yeah, what about you? All right. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm a Marvel guy, man. I think they're, they are they just make a better movie, I think. It's so yeah, cool. I agree. Yeah. It's like, they, they kind of, they're kind of realistic. Like, I mean... There's some really good ones out there. The Iron Man series, really good. Oh yeah, the Iron Man series. Is really the first happy. Iron Man that ever came out with uh, so far, unbelievable. Because he was yeah. on drugs, like he had to get clean during that whole moment. Like, yeah, that was a shaky moment for him. That, well, so that, he, every, I remember when they did that and they announced he was going to be Iron Man. Everybody was like, "What? This guy? This guy's yeah." Gonna, he like he re redid his career. 
Wasn't like, yeah. John Favreau had to like sleep in his trailer with him? Babysit so him. Yeah. Babysit him. Make sure that he didn't do something stupid. He's a he's a badass. I love. Yeah. Him. Now it's all different. The whole thing. He's totally different now. So. I mean, and then you got Captain America. I tell you, a big one I love is uh, I think it's a really good movie. Is uh, what's the one uh with the chick? Uh, Black Widow. Cap- no, the uh, like Captain Cap- America. The Captain America chick. Marvel. Uh, Captain Marvel. Oh, the yeah. chick version of Captain America. Yeah, that's a really good movie. Wonder Universe or something like that. Isn't it called Captain Marvel? Yeah, I think you're right, Captain yeah. Marvel. Yeah, that's a really good movie. Version. And then the Thors, like Thors are great. I like the Thors, yeah. Thors I mean, are great. I mean, what is it? Birds of Prey was a, a DC like that movie. Was like, yeah. Right. Wasn't didn't really come full circle. What was the budget on those Avenger movies? Because that's got like just the payroll more the than you can even think about. <laughs> wasn't like wasn't the Avengers like three hours long? And it was like oh yeah, it was long and could have been like four hours really. It was just... divided in two, didn't it? And like both of them were like six hours long, weren't they? Yeah, they got Lord of the Ringsy. What about yeah. the? New... What do you guys think of the new Star Wars? I like. I haven't I like watched it yet. I like the way they're going though, with all these like side character stories that are breaking off, and like they're starting to intertwine, like uh, Bubba Fett and the Mandalorian story kind of intertwine. I haven't finished the see the uh, the Bubba Fett thing, but they do talk about that, which is pretty wild. I was a big fan of Rogue One. That was oh, a great okay. movie. Great yeah. movie. I haven't seen it yet. That, I think Netflix owns the rights to that, right? Or did they get it back? I'm not sure. All right. Sure. My next one. Streaming services only. HBO, Disney. Which one are you picking? HBO or Disney? Yeah. I'm going HBO for me personally. Yeah, I think I have to go HBO. They do a really good job, even though Disney's like I just a giant. Disney's great too. I just I like the television shows and the comedies and the dramas. And stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go neither because that's all I do is stream. <laughs> well, I stream. Uh, yeah. I, so I can go neither. All I have is Netflix, Prime, and ESPN. Gotta have ESPN, man. Like that's yeah, a good those, one. those are three great ones to have. That's a great spread. Is perfect. They've they've really done a great job. With yeah, their and Netflix is great too. It's solid. Well, Netflix is the goat. That yeah, I mean, they're the biggest. Yeah. They started it. I mean, Netflix's documentaries and their TV shows. Yeah, Prime's got a lot of great stuff on it too. Yeah, Prime does have good. HBO stuff too, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. they're starting to charge for them. Like, uh, yeah. really? That sucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nike or Adidas. Nike all day, baby. Yeah, yeah that's... Doing Nike. Yeah, no chance. I like Adidas. I think they've turned it around with some stuff, but for sure. But they're not the king. Yeah, Nike's Nike's the goat. Listen, Nike's I... the goat. If Adidas Listen, wants to sponsor us, we'll be happy to take the money. Mean, we'll be happy to take the money. Yeah. Literally been to some third real countries in the Af- in Africa and some other places. And you Nike. Just... You see those Air Jordans walking around. <laughs> Nike's everywhere, yeah. yeah Nike's everywhere. Uh, mm-hmm. Nike, Nike jerseys, like they literally have the best quality uniforms, jerseys, the best. Like, oh yeah, yeah. They dominate the, the sports field. Yeah, yeah. Uh, PlayStation or Xbox? Oh, that just is such a loaded question. I could go either. Honestly, I could go either. I like both consoles. It depends on where the games go. Yeah, I guess it just depends on what I'm playing. I'm an Xbox guy. Xbox really? guy. See, like, Xbox just bought the rights to the Call of Duty series, so that's going to really... That's pretty big. That's a tough... And I don't know, did they greenlight it? Because they were... The stock market was... Uh, the SEC was getting involved, saying, like, they don't want to create, like, a monopoly. Oh, I'm not sure yet. I mean, I think Xbox is just a better... I mean, you go back to, like, that night, late night. Yeah, I mean, I like them both. Yeah, I like the durability of Xbox for sure. Yeah, it is pretty wild. Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, Dunkin'. You gotta go, Dunkin' man. I like yeah. Starbucks oh, just because they got my drink. I think oh, the company as a whole is soft, but <laughs> that strawberry refresher is so good. 
They are good. And Duncan <laughs> Strawberry delicious. Refresher has like a can of Monster in it. It's like yeah, there's like no Strawberry Refresher. Artificial, right? <laughs> Everything Duncan is just artificial, and then Starbucks tries to play it off like it's healthier, even though it's probably the same shit. <laughs> like, yeah. So Duncan the funny, just the funny thing is like about Starbucks is Starbucks you pay seven bucks for a large coffee. Dunkin' Donuts you pay three you pay three bucks, and I'm like it's about the same. Like oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's the exact same coffee, exact same bean. Exact same coffee. <laughs> they got exact the same, same bean. bean. <laughs> yeah. Now I tell you where a cof- uh, coffee that I will get is if you run on the outside of Canada, you find one. Great breakfast sandwiches. Tim Hortons. Oh Tim yeah, Hortons. Tim Hortons. Timmy he, that place. Timmy he. I love it. Canadians. Just love Hortons. <laughs> Timmy Hortons. The it's only place breakfast, that breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in one spot. Yeah. I mean, there's, years some, who. there's some around like Northern America, right? Like, you oh, know, they're big time Canadian establishment. <laughs> A very <laughs> fine Canadian establishment. <laughs> so, and then I'm in Madrid. Driving. <laughs> and then I'm in Madrid, Spain. There's a Tim Hortons on every other block in Madrid. No. Spain. Like, that's <laughs> I'm not even kidding you, man. <laughs> That's the most random thing. Watch I've like heard. the Canadian embassy have like a Tim Hortons in the lobby. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course they do. The most Canadian thing ever. Maybe Hortons. Yeah, we yeah. uh we get the product shipped to us when you're Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They uh so the Canadians when they were when they went into Afghanistan and they owned these bases in Afghanistan, right? They literally built uh, roller hockey rinks in their ba- on the bases in Afghanistan back That's in the day. Hilarious. That's hilarious. So you go around to these bases, you're like, oh, the Canadians are here. Like, how do you know the Canadians are here? They're the only people that would build an ice hockey rink. <laughs> yep. They're mixing it's a awesome. quick game of ball hockey in between. Yeah. <laughs> Do a little patrol in Afghanistan and have a ball hockey. <laughs> it's like yeah. Ricky in, in uh, Trailer Park Boys when he goes to prison. When they go to jail. <laughs> he's, he's pissed they're kicking him out. He goes, come on, yeah. man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm I called here. you. here. I'm playing all the games of ball hockey. <laughs> you nope, suck. You're going home. <laughs> I'm going to win that tournament. <laughs> Right. That's the funny uh, thing. Is like, so funny. You hear about these people that are like, oh, I'm going to get prison house big and stuff like that. Man, gym, people, if they go to prisons, like go to prison and get jacked and huge in prison and coming out like good shit. Man, they are really creative with their workouts and what they're like, what they're doing. Because you think about it, they probably only had like a squat rack, a shitty bench. Not a whole lot. Not, Not a whole, whole lot, lot to work. Man. Not a whole lot to work. But they they come out like great shape. And you're like, you, what are you like googling and they're gonna work out like crazy how did you do some of these oh. workouts you know for sure for sure